Welcome guys, so today uh, we are going to understand in depth about this um, direct payment, right? Let's get started. So as we know, the direct payment is used when there is a direct accounting relationship between the central bank and the receiver bank. In this case, um, let us take one example. Direct accounting relationship. So let's understand this with an example. Uh, today we will also illustrate about the MT103 tax uh, fields used in this direct payment. So uh, for this, let's take an uh, example which we used to take earlier. So this is Ram. He is holding account. Number, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in bank. Right. Let's say S B I N bond A B. Right. Say it is an E bank. And Rao wants to send uh, money, let's say, um, coin or the dollar 1000 to Sam, who is holding account in Bank B, which is Bank of America, New York. This is customer Xiao and the account number A is let's say nine eight seven six five four two. So this is one example of a direct payment, right? And uh, here we will be sending only one MT one of three messages because transaction is a cross border. Is being transferred from India to Bank of America, New York. That is in US. So that's why a uh, Swift plays in here. Actually, where okay. Swift will be there. This MT103 will be uh, basically sent Swift. Swift will send to Bank A from the payment report. So now We'll understand about this MT103. Uh, what all tax, which all things will be present, right? We'll understand those things. So, uh, let's get started. So here, so as we all know that uh, Swift has this uh, five blocks, and it will start with block one. So let's say one. Right? Treasure, and let's say this is. Uh, this is SBI and BB Triple X is a center bank, and FOFA New York is a receiver bank. So, in Swift, if A is sending, then, <coughs> then FOFA this will be receiver bank. FOFA New York Triple X, and some other blocks will be there in block two. Uh, F okay, O okay. So, um, this is B I N on pay X and block three data and then block four starts here. 
So uh, we all know that what all mandatory tags are there for MT103 to be initiated. So uh, it will start with tag 20, right? And 20 is nothing but a transaction reference number, right? The transaction reference number, let's suppose when bank A sends a transaction to bank B with MT103, we will also send a transaction reference number. So let's assume the bank A is sending um, um, outward telegraphy. So as I said, like uh, it will send bank a sense of transaction reference number. In our case, let's say it is sending R R E M or E M one three four five. This is a transaction reference number, right? And the next man, uh, next tag is twenty three, and uh, twenty three is nothing but the bank operation code, right? Uh, there will be a C R E D for credit. So basically, it is twenty three B, not twenty three. So it is a bank operation code. We have 32A, right, which is nothing but uh, the value date, currency, and the settlement amount. So uh, let's say today is uh, 20, um, let's say 12th of uh, January 2021. Uh, so it will start with 210112, followed by the currency and the settlement amount. So settlement amount, how it is derived, you will understand later on, but uh, here, right? This it is a shared, let's say it is a shared uh, charge type, uh, that's why uh, the settlement amount is same amount which is it is the same and the charges will be settled internally which we will understand later on when we understand about the charges and after that we have this 50k, so 50k is nothing but the ordering customer details, so we have here Ram who is holding a round number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in the bank A, the same details have been informed in 50K. 52A is nothing but the ordering institution, right? So, uh, rounds of uh, uh, institution is SBI N, Bombay, uh, triple X. So, here it is. 57A is nothing but the account with institution. So, account with institution is nothing but the receivers bank institution. Uh, that is Siam's institution, that is Bank of America, New York, Triple X. 59, again, this is the beneficiary details, Siam, holding account 97 and followed by the name and an address, you know, uh, it, it allows 4 into 35, that is uh, 140 characters maximum. Tag 70 is the remittance information. Here, Ram's uh, bank says that this is a personal payment. Ram says it's a personal payment, so uh, they will mention the personal payment over here. 71A is a charge type. We'll understand deep about different charge types, but since it is a shared charge type over here, we are not using any 71F or 71G. So uh, this ends our uh, uh, payment, right? And this is how to type payment uh, MT103 messages to that. Remember, this is a cross-border payment. That's why MT103 is used. If it was uh, within the country, let's say SBI Indian from Red Transfer wants to transfer to, let's say, uh, Bank of Baroda, uh, Bombay. So they might not use this MT103 because this MT103 uh, is charged by SWIFT, right? So they do not want to make a uh, more charges, you know, for the payment. So they might use the different clearing. Uh, I mean, uh, different messaging system, different clearing system. You have any FT, IMTS, anything else, you know, which will have a different uh, file format, that is a uh, CAD file or you can use MX format, you know. But this is how MT103 messages, messages looks like. And yeah, that's all about the direct payment. And we'll get back again with the different payment type. Thank you for watching the video.